Uh, so from South Africa in the south, we move all the way to the north, uh, and this time to Norway. Uh, and with us is uh, a great friend, uh, Marthe Valle. Marthe, uh, welcome. Thank you, Mitri. So nice to be a part of this with all of you. Wonderful people. Thank you. Uh, great to have you with us, uh, Martha. Um, I would like to start by uh, asking you, you know, Norway was uh, the country that uh, uh, was instrumental in doing the uh, Oslo Accord, uh, bringing Israel and Palestinian together. That unfortunately did not lead, uh, did not lead to uh, self-determination of the Palestinian people. Uh, but I know there is a, a strong solidarity movement also in Norway with Palestine. Uh, and I know you are part of that. Uh, maybe you can share with us something about that strong movement. Well, it is, uh, it is um, the same as many of the other participants have been saying, um, that there is a shift in the government. Um, also, we see this in Norway. I personally believe that Norway uh, could be, the, the Norwegian government could be much clearer about supporting uh, Palestine. But we have an, a very big solidarity movement in the people. And for me, the hope is is uh, within the people. Um, we have very large demonstrations. We have very um, a, a lot of cultural uh, arrangements for Gaza and for Palestine. And I feel like really strongly. I have been a part of the solidarity movement for Palestine for almost seventeen years, and I feel like there has never been as much. Um, engagement in the people as right now, and I think the difference is that the difference is that we are being shown the the unfiltered reality uh, from Gaza, which has opened the people to see the 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 long and um, horrifying uh, suppression of the Palestinian people. So my hope is within the people. Yeah. Uh, Martha, you have been uh, to Palestine several times, uh, and I know you have uh, lots of uh, memories from your visits. Uh, do you have like one special memory that you would like to share with us? Yes, I think it was the first time I came to Palestine in 2006, and I was uh, invited into this in this family in Albira, outside Ramallah, where we were working. and. Um, the, this was the first time I was invited into a Palestinian home. And for me, as you know, like a, a shy Norwegian, this was <laughs> this was a, a very strong memory for me because from the very first moment I was considered as family. And for me, this is the most like describing uh, part of the Palestinian people is that the hospitality and the enormous uh, generosity towards uh, uh, other people visiting uh, with the food, with the culture, with the conversations and the sharing. And, and this changed me as a human being and uh, it continuously does. Yeah, thank you. Um, I know you have chosen for us uh, today a very special song uh, mm -hmm. called Mama. And uh, can you maybe share with us something about the background of that song? And I hope it will work that uh, we will hear it well this time. Yes, so uh, this song I wrote in 2014 under the Israeli aggression on Gaza. My daughter, she was four years old at that time. Uh, and uh, the, so the lyrics um, is about that being a mother or a father, uh, your desperate need to protect your child is the same everywhere in the whole world, also in Gaza. And uh, so, so this is um, this is ten years ago, and uh, they are still bombing. And this uh, the the recording of this song was done in a, a very big solidarity concert we have we had here in Norway just a, a few weeks ago. Um, with a full church here in Bergen. 
Yeah, thank you. I hope uh, we will be able now to tune into uh, this uh, this very special song in that very special atmosphere of the church in Bergen. Thank you, uh, Marty, for all what you are doing, and uh, we will stay in touch. Yes, thank you, Mitri. Mamma som kan se att allt går bra. 